This beast looks like it's built to destroy, but it's actually an excavator. Its bucket alone weighs nearly 200 kilograms and can hold up to 0.2 cubic meters of Earth. The CAT E336 weighs over 37 tons and has a 300 horsepower engine, allowing it to dig holes up to 8 meters deep. When it's time to tear something down, the CAT E336 can swap its bucket for another attachment, like a hydraulic breaker or a grapple, turning it into a demolition powerhouse. This versatility makes it perfect for both digging and demolishing. Controlled Demolition has been a pioneer and global leader in explosive demolition for over 70 years. Let's take a look at what they've accomplished. Here, we see the dramatic takedown of wind turbines on the northern US coast. Next is the demolition of a 70-meter transmission tower in California. And here, a 1.1 million liter water tower comes crashing down. Then, there's the demolition of a 61-meter brick smokestack in Massachusetts. This was the controlled implosion of the Asbury Power Plant in northwest Jasper County. And here's the bridge over the Patapsco River in Baltimore Harbor, Maryland. Every project demands meticulous planning and pinpoint precision to ensure everything falls safely and exactly where it should. Controlled demolition proves time and again that even the heaviest structures can disappear in seconds, cleanly, smoothly, and right on schedule. And if you need extra reach, the CAT 352 comes into play. This demolition excavator has the largest boom-mounted tool for working up to eight or even nine stories high. It weighs 64.5 tons, and you can switch attachments in just 15 minutes. It works at ranges of up to 28 meters, with tools weighing up to 3.7 tons. Take the Genesis XT Mobile shears, for instance. Their jaws are strong enough to cut through any kind of reinforcement during demolition. Depending on the model, these shears weigh between 1.4 and 25.5 tons. For controlled, quiet, and safe demolition, the excavator can use a Geith concrete crusher. Made from durable, wear-resistant steel, it's great for breaking up roads, bridges, and foundations. In saint chamond France, a collapsed building left behind huge chunks of foundation. That's when the CAT 352 came in, equipped with a Montebert hydraulic breaker. Depending on the model, this attachment weighs between 65 and 5,655 kilograms. Brock is an expert in demolition machines. Recently, this company launched a new line of attachments for its Smart Power Plus robots, the Brock Cut-Off Saw and the Brock TE Drill. These tools focus on convenience, high performance, and maximum efficiency on the job. Tearing down old buildings has never been this advanced or straightforward. The attachments can be swapped out quickly right on site, with no complex prep needed. This means the crew can keep working without delays and adapt to changing tasks on the go. Have you ever wondered what kind of equipment is needed to cut up an airplane? In 2014, this team of workers was invited to dismantle a Boeing 737. The task was completed using the Husqvarna CS2512 wire saw and the Husqvarna C1000 Cobra diamond wire. This hydraulic wire saw is capable of handling reinforced concrete, stone, brick, and metal structures. Its cutting elements, the diamond wire, moves at a speed of 25 meters per second. Thanks to this speed and the strength of the wire, it can easily cut through even the most durable parts of the fuselage and landing gear. 
This allows the demolition to be carried out quickly, accurately, and with minimal physical effort. This is an aircraft graveyard where retired airliners are turned into valuable resources. What you're seeing here is the dismantling of a 300-ton Airbus A340. All the materials, metals, electronics and more are sorted for recycling and reuse. This process helps reduce waste and plays a key role in the aviation industry's efforts towards environmental sustainability. Demolition isn't always about dust and destruction. Sometimes it happens quietly and precisely. This is how the Shell Brent Delta oil platform was dismantled. It weighed a staggering 24,200 tons. It was carefully lifted by a specialized heavy lift vessel and brought ashore for disassembly. This approach minimizes environmental impacts and allows for extremely precise dismantling. Here's another piece of attachment for taking an airplane apart. These Hydro-Ram HSS hydraulic shears are mounted on a new Holland excavator and can cut through just about anything. The shear jaws open up to 53 centimeters. They can effortlessly slice through even the toughest metal parts, including the fuselage and wings of an aircraft. These shears significantly accelerate the dismantling process, making it safer and more efficient. That's how this gantry crane is taken down as well. Five excavators were needed to bring down this building. This incredible machine shreds entire cars, breaking them down into smaller scrap pieces for sorting and recycling. The mobile shredder from Hamel delivers 525 horsepower and features multifunctional shafts that can chew through bulky waste, household trash, aluminium profiles, packaging materials and even light mixed scrap. That makes it a must-have at recycling facilities and metal recovery sites. Its reliability, performance and versatility help streamline processing and cut down on costs. The Powerhand VRS200 vehicle dismantler consists of two parts. A grapple mounted on the excavator's boom and clamp legs. Like a vulture, it tears apart end-of-life vehicles, separating valuable materials from the less valuable car body. The dismantler can be mounted on any excavator weighing between 20 and 25 tons. This makes the VRS200 a versatile solution for scrap yards and recycling facilities. It speeds up the dismantling process, making it cleaner and more cost-effective. The Senebogen 718E is perfect for tree work. Trimming, felling, clearing branches, it does it all quickly and efficiently. Whether it's along highways, near power lines, or deep in the forest, this machine handles it with ease. It's not compact, it weighs 21.4 tons and is powered by a 123 kilowatt engine. Its boom extends up to 13 meters, and the operator's cab is nearly 6 meters high, providing great visibility, comfort, and safety. You can fit the boom with various attachments depending on the task, making the Senebogen 718E a versatile tool in all kinds of settings. Thanks to its power and flexibility, it greatly improves efficiency and cuts down on labor costs, even on the toughest jobs. The DXR315 is a powerful yet compact demolition robot with a telescopic arm. It might be small, but it packs 27 kilowatts of power making it capable of handling tough tasks in difficult environments. It's operated remotely, making it safe, precise, and easy to use. It can use various attachments, from hammers to metal shears. For extreme conditions, you can add features like overheating protection, better cooling, cylinder protection, and a high-performance hydraulic system, either right away or later on. 
the Liebherr LH35 impresses with its stability and delivers high performance in all types of work. Here, the machine is tearing down a building in Stuttgart, Germany. Its powerful hydraulic system and precise controls allow for demolition even in the tightest of spaces. This versatile machine helps make this is a perfect example of destruction being oddly satisfying to watch. Interestingly, the cables were attached to the bottom of the wall. Any guesses why? This Cat 336 is tearing down the roof of a former pumping station that once covered the atrium. All that's left of this administrative building in Cologne is a small section, which a mechanic is carefully dismantling using a Cat 352. Let's check the demolition of some buildings on Friedrichstrasse in Dusseldorf. This substation is being torn down with the Genesis XT mobile shears. These weigh up to 24.5 tons and can open their jaws up to 137 centimeters. The shears handle even the toughest metal structures with ease, ensuring fast and safe dismantling. A clean demolition of a house in Florida. The machine doing the work is a JCB NXT 205 LC excavator. It's interesting how the falling chimney brought the entire structure down with it. Do you think it was an accident? That structure was barely holding on as it was. Just a small nudge and everything came crashing down. Sometimes demolition targets are quite unexpected. In this case, a Cat 390 fitted with a special attachment is dismantling tram tracks. The powerful excavator easily removes rails and other components, ensuring precision and safety. This type of demolition equipment is ideal for urban projects, where minimizing impact on surrounding infrastructure is crucial. 3, 2, 1 And this heating plant in the German town of Ibbenbüren is no more. Here's the demolition of the Windford Towers in Mary Hill, Scotland, as seen from above. This house on Maple Road in Greenock, Scotland is being demolished with the help of a Hitachi ZX350 LC7 excavator. With this machine, thanks to its high maneuverability and powerful equipment, it makes quick work of the task, bringing down walls and the foundation. Its efficiency and reliability make it an ideal choice for confined spaces and complex sites. This is the Sierra RB6000 mobile baler. It turns cars into neat little bundles. Thanks to its powerful hydraulic system, the baler compresses vehicles down to compact sizes, making them easier to transport and recycle. This not only speeds up the recycling process, here's another video of the same mobile baler at work. This time a pickup truck is the unlucky victim. Now that the planes have been dismantled, it's time for the control tower to go too. A new one will be built in its place in Fort Benning, Georgia. This water tower with a unique look also came down. 50 years of Las Vegas history collapsed in an instant. In 2007, the Stardust Hotel was reduced to rubble. the epic takedown of NASA's launch towers 17A and 17B. In the German village of Bootsflit, a 54-meter abandoned harbor crane had to be dismantled. From a drone's perspective, the demolition of this 11-story building in the German city of Bergheim looks even more spectacular.
A heavy hitter was brought in for the demolition of this house, the Volvo EC950E Excavator. It brings buildings down as if they were made of cards. Thanks to its 450 horsepower and over 90 tons of weight, it has no trouble handling concrete and steel structures. Equipment like this allows demolition to be carried out not only efficiently, but also safely for both the environment and the workers. Well, they tried to do that carefully, but it still came down with a crash and a cloud of dust. It's quite the sight when a giant structure comes crashing down straight toward you. Here's another massive demolition with a fall directed right at the cameraman. Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and if you found this review helpful, give us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications to catch you in the next video.